So next up, podcast listeners, we got Go Woke or Go Broke. It's Go Woke or Go Broke, and it is Goya names AOC Employee of the Month. Goya <laughs> names AOC Employee of the Month. So Goya is a food company, right? It's a food company. that They uh, produce food and prepared foods and so forth, primarily for the Latino community, no doubt. And the Goya CEO has named AOC Employee of the Month. So it says Latino food company Goya has awarded Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez its Employee of the Month award after AOC started a boycott campaign against Goya. Instead of her boycott boycott leading to Goya going broke, the company has had a 1,000% increase in the Trump-supporting company sales well, yeah, so that's why, right? Because the CEO of Goya Food, Bob Uanonwe, went to the White House and said he supports Donald Trump because Donald Trump is pro-business and trying to make it easier for businesses to operate because of the intense regulatory burden that Obama put on the business community. Everybody knows it, and everybody knows what I just said there is true. Well, Bob Uanonwe went to the White House and basically praised the President of the United States. And Bob Uanonwe also happens to be Hispanic and he also is a religious person. Oh, so you can't be that and support Donald Trump. We have a clip on when Bob Uanonwe, the CEO of Goya, was at the White House and here it is. A big backlash today, a campaign to boycott Goya Foods after their CEO praised the President. We're all truly blessed at the same time to have a leader like President Trump, who was a builder. And that's what my grandfather did. He came to this country to build, to grow, to prosper. And so we have an incredible builder, and we pray. We pray for our leadership, our president, and we pray for our country that we will continue to prosper and, and to grow. And as a result of that, AOC said, she tweeted out, Boycott Goya Foods, you know, of course, you know, she's trying to cancel Goya Foods. Classic cancel culture, right? I don't like the person that likes Donald Trump, so therefore I'm going to try to cancel everything that they're part of and everything that they're doing. And of course, CNN jumped on the bandwagon as well, because CNN commentator Anna Navarro started talking about Goya Foods on CNN and how they should be boycotted. And we have that clip, and here it is. You also have got to believe that his consumers have the same exact right. So do not expect a community that feels victimized by Donald Trump and attacked by Donald Trump constantly, and that is your loyal consumer base, not to react and feel hurt when they see you praising that person. It, I mean, it, you know, actions have consequences. He's free to take those actions. Those actions have consequences. Sure. So Anna Navarro, a commentator on CNN, says that the Latino community is being victimized by Donald Trump. What a bunch of nonsense, because we all know that in the election that we just had, uh, we have entire precincts in the state of Texas, which are Hispanic, primarily of Mexican descent, and they voted overwhelmingly for Donald Trump, and also the Cuban community in South Florida. But that's not enough, because in Texas, Democrat and former presidential candidate Julian Castro criticized Goya for participating with Trump uh, at the White House. We have that clip, and here it is. Texas Democrat and former presidential candidate Julian Castro. He encouraged Latinos to boycott the brand, tweeting the hashtag Goya Way. In a statement, Yunnan Wei defended his remarks and called for the country to come together. So Goya Way is, was the hashtag that was trending through Twitter at the time, and Julian Castro, dis, you know, he decided to start that. Why? Because all of these members of the left, who also happen to be Hispanic, are terrified that Hispanics might start trending Republican and voting Republican. It's really that simple. So the only way they can stop it is not from the power of their ideas and of their intellect. They have to stop it by canceling companies that support people who happen to support business. Well, I guess the, the money's going your way now, Mr. Uh, <laughs> President of Goya Foods. I mean, because I think that uh, what their, their increase in sales was about what? A thousand percent? A thousand percent over that's, this period of time. That's a lot. It's huge. <laughs> and get this, Ivanka, Ivanka Trump, she tweeted, if it's Goya, it's got to be good. And there's a picture of her, and hopefully Chris can put that up here. It's a picture of her tweet. And it's Ivanka Trump, of course, and she is, you know, posing with, you know, a Goya product like this. It's like, a, you know, like uh, Vanna White 
you're made of Vanna White. Oh, yeah. It's like, oh my gosh. Uh, a lot of the podcast listeners will know who that is. Maybe not the millennials, we're not really sure. Um, but nonetheless, their sales increased a thousand percent. And we have that clip from Fox Business News talking about that very fact, and here is the clip. But God knows she's earned it. AOC named Employee of the Month earlier this year after she supported the boycott on Goya because CEO Bob Ananu praised President Trump after a round table at the White House with Hispanic leaders. Oh my gosh, how could he? But the boycott backfired and led to a counter movement supporting Goya that saw sales increase by 1,000%. And this is what has to happen in the United States, right? You cancel, cancel culture by basically buying the stuff of the people they're trying to cancel to show them, you know what, we're not gonna put up with this. We're just not going to. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it, you get to have an opinion and that is your opinion. But the fact that you want to destroy someone, and by the way, if you destroyed Goya, imagine the thousands of jobs that you would destroy too, including people are, who are Hispanic working for the company. You know, it just, uh, people gotta get away from this. I mean, look, uh, I was not a, a fan of Joe Biden, but if somebody goes to the White House and praises him, I, and they're a business person, I'm not, I might disagree with them. I might say why I disagree with them but I don't think I'm gonna tell people not to use their product anymore. There are plenty of people in business in Maryland, my state. Some of them will support a Republican, some of them report a de support a Democrat. They're in business. So what? Right. Who cares? Right, and you that'll know, go on their door and have it like a mark on their door, kind of like you know the Nazis you know, during Kristallnacht, and say, oh no, I, you don't go to those Jewish stores because you know those, are, those people are evil. I mean, literally, this is the left losing their mind and saying, we must destroy people's lives because they have a different opinion. It's incredible. Yeah, it's the count, you know, destroying the village in order to save it is counterproductive. It sure is. And that's, <laughs> and by the way, that is precisely why, Herb. And this we, is our village, you know? Yes, it is. That's why we're doing Go Woke or Go Broke segments on this podcast. And that is Go Woke or Go Broke, Goya Names, AOC, Employee of the Month. 